Ecosapent Ethal, brand name Vazkeeper, started hitting the news in 2019 as a new highly purified fish oil treatment available on prescription. It was for people whose cholesterol levels are under control with a statin but still have a high triglyceride level, making them at risk of heart disease. This video is part four of a series exploring different treatment options for people who are trying to lower their cholesterol. So I will be explaining everything you need to know about Buzzkeeper, including its side effects and whether you can buy an equivalent over the counter. So let's get started with what is Buzzkeeper. It's a highly purified omega-3 fatty acid, a type of fat that's present in fish oil, known as EPA. It's a new treatment for people with heart disease who have their LDL cholesterol, or sometimes called bad cholesterol, well controlled with statins, but who still may have high blood triglycerides. And raised triglycerides are considered to be a marker of risk for future heart attacks and strokes. So how does it work? Although the way it works is not completely understood, and there seems to be a number of different mechanisms involved, Vazkeeper is thought to improve the lipoprotein profile, that's the different types of cholesterol in the blood, by lowering triglyceride levels. So this medicine reduces the amount of triglycerides released from the liver, reduces the production of VLDL, a lipoprotein that is very high in triglycerides, increases lipoprotein lipase, the enzyme used in the buildup and breakdown of triglycerides. And other mechanisms are thought to include stabilizing cell membranes, which improves the function of the lining of the blood vessels, anti-clotting effects, anti-inflammatory and antioxidative properties. All of these are thought to help stabilize hardened parts of the arteries, known as atherosclerotic plaques, helping to lower the risk of heart attacks and strokes. So who can have Vazkeeper? It has been recommended for people who are already taking a statin, whose LDL levels and triglyceride levels are within a certain range, and with people who also have heart disease. It is not recommended during pregnancy or breastfeeding, or for children and young adults under 18. So how do you take it and what's the dose? Buzzkeeper comes as a capsule you take by mouth. The recommended dose is two 998 milligram capsules twice a day. You should take them with or just after a meal. So can you take it with other medication? There are no known interactions with other medicines, which means it should be fine to take it with other medications. And it is recommended to be taken with a statin to get the best lipid profile results. No, are there any side effects? Like all medicines, Vazkeeper can sometimes cause side effects. The most commonly reported side effects include palpitations or heart rhythm problems. Now tell your doctor if you feel as if your heart is beating fast and irregular, if you get lightheadedness, dizziness, shortness of breath, chest discomfort, or you feel faint. You can get burping, constipation, gout, which is painful swelling in the joints because of a buildup of uric acid. Bruising, particularly if you're taking an anti-clotting medicine. Bleeding, now serious bleeding can happen in people who take Vazkeeper, so your risk of bleeding may increase if you also take a blood thinner medicine. Pains in muscles, bones and joints swelling in the hands, legs and feet, skin reactions or a rash, and possible allergic reactions. Now, if you're allergic to fish or shellfish, stop taking Vazkeeper and tell your doctor right away or get emergency medical help if you have any signs or symptoms of an allergic reaction. Now, these are not all the possible side effects of Vazkeeper, for a full list, see the leaflet inside your medicines packet. Now, should there be any monitoring? Now, during your treatment, your doctor may carry out blood tests to check for any problems with your liver, 
and to check how your blood is clotting. Now your doctor will consider this medicine carefully if you are taking antithrombotic treatment to prevent blood clots or if you have a history of atrial fibrillation or flutter which are types of irregular heartbeat. Now what's the evidence that it lowers the risk of heart attacks and strokes? One clinical trial showed that it lowers your risk of a life-threatening heart attack or stroke by 25% with those who received icosapent ethyl and were taking a statin compared with those who received a dummy pill sometimes called a placebo. A second trial checked the triglyceride lowering effect of icosapent ethyl which showed that 4 grams of this daily significantly decreased triglycerides. The third trial, despite the small sample size, noted benefits of icosapent ethyl on outcomes in plaque reduction as early as 9 months with increasing significance by 18 months. So what do we know about triglycerides? There is a genetic element, but that's not the most common thing. The most common thing is people with metabolic problems such as insulin resistance. People with insulin resistance, their body has to increase insulin production to get those insulin receptors to work well. This stops triglycerides breaking down, so you need to manage your carbohydrate intake through your diet. So what's the best source of omega-3s from the diet? Now research shows that certain types of fish, like herring and sardines, are an excellent choice for healthy eating and contain the best source of omega-3 fatty acids. So can you buy something similar to Vazkeeper over the counter? Vazkeeper is the prescription strength fish oil focused entirely on EPA. The oils that you want out of omega-3 fatty acids are EPA and DHA. So if you see a fish oil supplement, I suggest you look at the bottle and see how many grams of fish oil specifically how much EPA it contains. So if you are looking to lower your triglyceride levels naturally, I would start with number one, looking into a high grade fish oil and check the EPA level. The studies are suggesting taking two to four grams daily. Number two, start a healthy diet that contains herring fish or sardines. Number three, eat a low carbohydrate diet. Number four, prolonged fasting. There are many studies that show that fasting over a long period does help lower triglyceride levels. Number five, try and lose weight. And number six, address medical conditions like prediabetes or diabetes. Now I hope you enjoyed this video and please share your thoughts or experiences in the comments section. And you can also watch my other videos, especially on how to lower cholesterol naturally. Thank you for watching.